guys are coming off um, wins in both men to women uh, from the conference last year. What were you hoping to, to get from this year's class? Uh, our expectations are always the same. Uh, guys going on, we won two years in a row. Girls first was last year. Um, we're going to go into it the same way as we always have. We're going to set our goal to win conference, go to regionals, and hopefully steal a qualifying spot to nationals from there. I, I think we have a good shot at, at doing both. So we'll see. Okay. Um, you've got a lot of newcomers on both the men's and women's side this year. Um, just talk a little bit about that, that core group that's coming in. Yeah, we have. this is our biggest class on both sides um, that we've signed. The girls' overall size is only 11. We only returned three, and we signed eight. But signing eight is the biggest class we've ever had. And the guys, I don't know the exact number, but I think we have 16 or 17 guys, and we signed around 11, something like that. Um, and so, I mean, great group coming in. They're all already talking to each other. They seem to be bonding well. Uh, throughout the summer, they've been in contact with their captains, with their own teammates, with themselves. Uh, credit to uh, nobody ever hears about him, Coach Sutrick. He's my volunteer assistant. He did a lot of recruiting. In fact, some of the girls talked to me once or twice, and most of, of the, the person they talked to was Coach Sutrick. And he, he does it out of the kindness of his heart. He gets, you know, he volunteers to do it. Without him here, we would not have signed half of the kids we signed. So he deserves a lot of credit for okay. what he did. Um. I know, especially on the women's side, you don't have a lot of returners, but kind of talk about the, the key returners that you do have coming back for this season. Yeah, our girls lost six of the top seven, returned one of our top seven, which is Regina, an uh, awesome girl to return. But we do have two girls that are coming back from, they're both from Sanger. They were, they were teammates in high school. Um, they work well together, and they're both in much, much better shape this, t this time coming around. So although you didn't see them do anything spectacular last season, I think this season you'll see a big improvement from them. So we're really excited about what they're going to do. Regina's going to do what Regina always does. Um, we, and I'm not trying to, you know, jinx her, but we look for her to set some school records this year just as a junior because that's how good she is. Um, guys, uh, we lost, I want to say one or, one or two of our, our guys from last year are gone. One in the top seven. I could be wrong on number two here, but we, we lose Austin Christian, who was our captain last year, great leader. He's, he's not back this year. He graduated. So our guys should be fairly well off. They returned most of their top guys, and we signed a lot of good quality guys. We signed three JUCO guys, you know, a bunch of high school guys. So guys should be, should be okay.